So this is about the circumference of a circle. And the circumference is really just a special name for the perimeter of a circle. And we need to know a little bit about parts of a circle before we can really use this. So first thing to remember, obviously circles are round object. And we can cut it in half. If we cut it in half, that line that goes across the half is what we call the diameter. That's the distance across the circle from edge to edge as wide as you can make it. Another thing that we can label out of there is going from the center of the circle to one edge. That's the radius. So the distance from the center to the edge of the circle is the radius, and the diameter is the distance all the way across. And you may know, or notice here, that the diameter goes from center to edge, and from center to edge. So the diameter is actually equal to 2 times the radius, because it's built up by adding 2 radii together, 2 radius together. So the diameter is equal to 2 times r, or sometimes we write it as just 2r. So there's two formulae you can use for circumference. c is equal to 2 pi r, or c is equal to pi d. And what you have to remember here is that there's little invisible time signs. So that's 2 times pi times r, the radius, or that's pi times the diameter. Now if you're wondering where pi is on your calculator, you have to go and hit shift, and then the pi button, which is the one above the times 10 to the power of x one down here. So again, to get pi, you'd hit shift, and that button there, that gives you the little yellow pi. So that's how you'd find it on your calculator. And to use the formula here, let's think about what we have. We need to either know the radius or the diameter. Usually the 2 pi r is the general formula used. And looking at our very first example here, we've got 2 meters is given to us, and that is actually the radius here. So the radius is equal to 2 meters. So we can use the formula. The circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius, which is 2. So that's going to be equal to 2 times pi times the radius. Plugging it into your calculator, you should get 12.57 meters. So the distance around the circle is 12.57 meters. In the next example, what they've given me is 7, but that's for the diameter, that's for the whole distance across. So the diameter is equal to 7. So I could use the formula c is equal to pi times 7, and that would get me c is equal to 21.99 centimeters. And in the last example, I see that my radius here, so I'm from the middle to the edge, that's my radius, is equal to 10. So circumference will be 2 times pi times 10. And in your calculator, if you plug that in, c is equal to 62.83 meters. Now one thing that you can do, just an alternative on these problems, if it's confusing to remember two formula, you can try to just always find the radius to keep it simple for yourself. So from this middle problem, 7 centimeters is the diameter, so half of that is the radius, and that's 3.5. That way you can always use the formula 2 times pi times the radius, in this case 3.5, and you'll still get 21.99 centimeters. So keep that in mind, the diameter is half the radius, or sorry, the radius is half of the diameter, and just remember that if you're using the radius, you have to do 2 times pi times the radius. If you're using the diameter, you're just using pi times the diameter.